climate change in terms of climate security is what is pushing this up the global development and security agenda. And what are we meaning when we're talking about climate security? And that was what the side event was about. And we had speakers from Africa, from Asia, from Latin America, talking about the different securities, food security, energy security, water security, and human security, all of which, when we layer climate change over that, we see climate change as a threat multiplier in a world of intense transformation. 20 years after Rio, we should, what is the measure on security? The measure on security is that it's not, it's not possible the sustainable development in the way that we conceptualize in Rio. And it's something that is not being enough recognized here. If you look to the Climate Change Convention, it's not possible to comply with the objective of the Climate Change Convention. And the Climate Change Convention was the, the concept of sustainable development in the Climate Change Convention basically means not to have dangerous human interventions in the climate. And today that is not possible. We are still correlating what is happening in the Arab world, which is called the Arab Spring, with the issues of food security, of water security, as they relate to uh, uh, climate change. There are many reasons for this food crisis. But one of them is, and this is well documented, linked to adverse climatic conditions in major uh, producing countries. Canada, Australia, Russia, and so on. Relative prices of commodities are adjusted. So we are not anymore going to enjoy those low prices of food. This era is over. Other continents are coming to Africa to fight their own poverty, taking our water. You mentioned land grabbing. For us, it's not land grabbing, it's water grabbing. Because those continents, they have the land, but they don't have the water. If you go to the Middle East or Saudi and so forth, the land is there, but it's desert. But they would rather come to Africa and to cultivate whatever to re-export or to sell it to us because they are getting the water and they are getting the water free. So now in Africa we are saying that water is an economic commodity. It's no longer a social free good. We have to value water what it is. It's not value. Before I go, we are talking about the impact on climate change. And it's so important that, you know, climate change is being manifested on water resources. We are seeing either floods, excess of water, or drought. And we are experiencing that in Africa. And as we experience that in Africa, food production is going down and down and down. Here I challenge the environmentalists. I'm an environment myself. I worked for Geneva for 15 years as an environmentalist. But in the negotiations with climate, even here, We've been trying to get water to be mainstream because it is fundamental not only for human rights but for development and for development that's why you fight poverty. But still it's taken in the periphery. So what is happening is that you have different co different communities. You have the water community that speaks for itself. We don't speak outside of the box. I was in the on the 19th, I was talking to water people, talking to the converted. The environmentalists also talk to themselves. So you we have to break that barrier. To know that it's integrated, we talk about global war, we talk about climate change, its impacts on water, impacts on food security, and that you cannot find poverty.